Hello everyone. Wanted to have a quick conversation about the importance of tire foams and tires when it comes to RC crawlers. So what I have in front of me are two foams. One of them is pretty much brand new. It was mounted in the RC once, never really run. The one on the right is the exact same brand and firmness, but this one's got about five runs on it. Now you'll notice, see the difference in diameter. I mean, it's the same size, or at least it was when I bought it, and you can see the difference between the two. So these are open cell foams, and they're both firm, but you can see what's happened over time is the wear that occurred, and it's not much time. Like I said, maybe five runs at the most. You can see that it's leaving dust behind as it literally just crumbles. It did that inside the tire too, leaving a really nice dust in there to clean out when I replace this foam. The other thing that's interesting is if you look at the wear pattern on this foam, you'll notice that this side is worn a bit more, so that's likely the outer edge of the tire. The inner edge of the tire is still relatively unscathed, but look that you'll notice that there's a convex or excuse me, concave surface in the center where the center wear was a bit more than it was elsewhere. So at this point, you have to ask yourself, why does that happen? What caused the center of the foam to wear prematurely? Well, that comes down to the fit between the foam and the tire. So the tire I'm going to be using as an example tonight is off of a Red Cat Gen 8. Pretty much typical tire. And matter of fact, this one still has the memory foam in it uh, from when I bought the truck. At this point, I'm running different uh, tires and foams, but that's we'll talk about that in another video. So what I'm going to do tonight is we're going to use a piece of roughly 16th inch plexiglass and set that down on top of the tire and apply various amounts of weight to see exactly what happens with that tread with different foam types under different conditions. And I think you'll find that it's a, it's a bit surprising to see exactly what happens to that tread as we apply pressure to it. Okay, so we have the same tire under the piece of plexiglass. So I'm going to lift up on the plexiglass and take all the weight off the tire so you can see what, the, what happens to the tread. Now watch when I just apply the weight of the plexiglass to the tire. Notice what happens to the center. The center squeezes in while the outer edges remain rigid and the tread deforms as a result of that. So that gives you an idea why the center of the foam wears more. So if you're running too soft of a foam and you allow that center to, def to deform that way, you're going to end up with less traction because what's happening is as we apply pressure, the center tread actually pulls away from the ground, away from the surface, giving you less traction. The reason for that is the sidewalls are actually providing support for the edges of the tire, both the inner and outer but the center is only being supported by the foam itself. So as a result, the center is going to collapse. Now watch what happens as we start simulating some turning and leaning. Notice that the tread collapses in on itself even more. I mean, look at that. At this point, that center tread is no longer making contact with the ground. None at all. So needless to say, traction is going to be severely limited. Now, I'm going to switch out to something with a little bit firmer foam, and we'll see how that does. So now I have another tire, and this one, again, this goes back to the original one. This has the Red Cat memory foam. Now, it's fairly cool around here right now. It's roughly, I don't know, high 40s, low 50s. So this foam is pretty firm at the moment. Now, again, watch what happens when I just set the weight down. Not much. You get a slight deformation in the center, nowhere near what we had before. But again, the tread is starting to pull away. And as I apply more pressure, you'll see it continues to do it. Now let's go ahead and move it back and forth. Now you can see these are doing a much better job of maintaining contact with the surface, but there's definitely a deformation in the center. That to me would be acceptable. You're maintaining full contact with the ground. Hopefully that helps to explain why we have that wear pattern down the center of this foam. Again, if you have a tire that has any give between the core in the center of the tread and the foam that's going to allow it to buckle in or if you have a foam that is too soft and doesn't adequately support the center of the tire the same thing's going to happen and again anytime that occurs 
you're literally pulling that tread away from the ground or away from the surface and traction is going to be limited. Now there are plenty of other videos out there talking about tire deformation during cornering where it leans over this way, that sort of thing. Again, I just shifted the tire back and forth slightly and you could see how much the tread moved, especially with the softer foam. So there is quite a bit of traction loss when you're not running the appropriate foams. Uh, bottom line, don't skimp, get the good stuff. The dual stage foams are clearly the way to go. This open cell foam is just absolutely useless.